Hey guys, so today what we're going to be doing is we are actually going to be doing a tackle review. We are going to be going over this company's uh, tackle box and their uh, some of their baits. The first thing, that the company is Guggen. They Their stuff is all American made. 99% of everything we use, whether it's Guggen or not, is American made. We use 99% of our stuff we use is Guggen though. We no. have a couple KBD baits. Which is foreign baits. So, first we're going to start off with the, um, uh, Bass Mafia box. Bass, Guggen Squad Bass Mafia box. This thing is, um, um of course American made because it's Guggen. It is a very heavy duty tackle box. It is waterproof and it holds up to some extreme weights. The, they did a test. They did a test where they ran it over with a, um, get ready to do the thing. Uh, they ran it over with a Camaro. So we're actually going to show you Mr. 200 pounds over here. 65 pounds. 265 pounds. Get it right. Standing on our tackle box. So. So basically, we just had a Mack truck on our Guggen tackle box. Um, the clips um, hold up very well. Uh, um, the, uh, he's checking on it real quick. Um, but the next thing we're going to uh, go on to is the... Um, rattling net it is also called a turd it is guggen made it is a american bait uh it is a it looks like a little turd um it's called the rattling turd it is canada crawl and it's got a little rattle in it little rattle, rattle. little rattle it rattles so um there's that I don't know if you'll be able to hear it rattle. Wait, camera's over here. You may be able to hear that. If not, I don't know what else to do to make you be able to hear it. But that is, um, I don't know what it smells like. It smells kind of like a licorice, but it's not licorice. Um, but there's a few colors in that, and that's one of the their baits that we really like. The next one is going to be their bandito bug and this is our all-time favorite of theirs this one's actually a brand new pack um, it is it's the bandito bug it is watermelon and red flake um, these don't have a rattle in them but they work really well and um, don't they work in mur murky water yes murky water and all that these are American made also um, that's what they look like. Got a little tail. You can use them as trailers, but sometimes we'll Texas rig them and um, Alabama and Alabama rig. Um, Alabama rig them. No. We can rig them just a few different ways. We can put them on a shaky head, or or we can just uh, put it on a normal hook and. They're really good for flipping, actually. And they, this one is the, um, the, uh, which I done said, the watermelon with red flake. This one, I believe, is pumpkin seed. It is an orange and green. Uh, and, um, uh, Okeechobee crawl. The next bait we gonna move on to is also another Guggen bait. Okay. That's basically all we're doing it going over in this video is Guggen. It is their, um, their, uh, Kraken crawl. Crack, crawl. They also make something close to it called the ru the rattling chunk. It's that, the exact same thing, just it's got a rattle in it, like, from the rattling neds. Which is something I'm really excited to try. But, this is a, I don't, I don't know if I already said this, a watermelon with red flake. It's... Their stuff always comes uh, very well packaged. Um, Sometimes you can't get them open. 
That's what it looks like. It's like a little crawl thingy. It's got little pinchers. Pinchers. Um, so that's a, the, the soft plastics of theirs that we have. We're actually excited to be able, when we're able to um, get, our, new dart. get our hands on the, their new dart. It's um, a swim bait or fluke type bait that you fish like a jerk bait with very durable soft plastic material. So that's it all. That's all we got on the soft plastic. We are we stock up. We are um, we are ready to try out their new um, new uh, new dart dart. And didn't they come out with the top one? Uh, the revolver. And we want we would also like to try out their revolver. Um, now we're gonna go over the their lipless crankbaits or. Um, as they call it, the clutch. We have got a sexy shed. And we also have a metallic blue and chrome and black. So now we're going to move on to a few of their topwaters that we have. Um, first, we what we have is an eat me frog. Um, if this one is a uh, sartreuse uh, in green and it's got a white belly. These are one of the frogs we catch our most fish on. Um, especially around here, you get a lot of blow ups on chicken. Chick. I, I have actually never caught a frog fish, but hope, hopefully, I will eventually one day. Just the pop them. I just had it. Okay. There it is. Uh, here's the, uh, actually, the, one of their poppers. Um, I've never thrown this popper because it's Zachary's and he ain't gonna let me use it. He ain't, uh, he ain't losing it. It has got a Sartre's butt and it's kind of a green color. That, that is all, I believe, of their top waters we have. We gotta restock on top water for spring and summer. We're gonna have to restock on everything. But all their stuff is very durable, and now we're gonna go over their square bills. They're just normal square bills. This one is a green, blue, and white. They've got a deeper rattle, not a very big rattle. Then we're gonna go over sexy Chad one, also a square bill and um, chartreuse and blue. Uh, we have a green one with purple somewhere. We also have a Guggen jerkbait. They're all, they're all a little tangled right now. It's called the Junior Scout. There we go. We also, I uh, do, no, we do have one. Yeah. Right there. There's the Junior Scout. The next thing we're going to be moving on to is actually um, some of their wire baits. I personally really like their wire, wire baits. Blade baits. Or blade baits. I, I really like their uh, blade baits. And uh, we also got one of their white jigs. So here is a kind of a crawl color. It is red and black. It looks different. We just got off. It looks different than actually on camera. It kind of looks orange or pink. Uh, we just have bad lighting. It's got black, which is kind of hard to see. So that's it. Then we're going to move on to the... That one is a, called a clickbait. Is it, It's actually a chatterbait, but they, they got a name for it. It's called a clickbait. And the next one is a one of their white clickbaits. Uh, this one does not have a trailer on it, but... That's another one. Next thing we're going to move on to, and this is the last one of the wire baits that we own of blade theirs, baits. or blade baits, um, is, um, is there a spinner bait. It is a blue, this one is a blue, yellow, and what? white um, blade. It's got a leaf blade and a willow blade on it, and it has a one of their uh, saucy swimmers on it. Here, and here is that purple, black, and chartreuse one 
And the good thing about all of them, they say how deep they run on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Most baits actually don't go, say that, focused. which is kind of weird. I think it, it's three to six feet. We've got some tied on right now. So, um, I guess that's about it for this video. Um, we are really, like we done said, we are really, uh, you can get them at our local bait shops, Lakeway Bait and Tackle, Knox Rod and Reel, and then you got like, you got the big bait stores, Dick's, Bass Pro, but we don't like shopping there. We've only got a few local bait shops around here, which is Lakeway Bait and Tackle and Kodak, and then there is Knox Rod and Reel and Seymour. Which there's a possibility of us um, also posting another video tomorrow. We are not 100% sure if we are going fishing tomorrow, but there is a good chance. So that's about it for at least me going fishing. He so that's about it for this video. Um, we are hoping to be able to get our hands on their dart and one of their top waters. The revolver. The revolver. And they also came out with a swim bait. It's a jointed swim bait called the conductor, maybe? It's not conductor. I can't remember what it's called. Hold on. Do you know what it's called? I don't know. We saw it the other day at Dick's. We just, um, it's not, we don't really, it's not time for swim baits up here. He's going to Google um, what, what it's actually called. But um, we're excited to get our hands on those baits. And um, if you want to go uh, check their page out, um, be linked in the description. it'll be linked in the description if I can figure out how to do that, which I should be able to. But he's, uh, I don't think he's going to be able to find it. Contender swim bait. The contender swim bait. We will eventually have one of those. They've got a, those in like Dick's and um, Academy. Um, we just have, haven't been able to get one yet. So that's about it for this video. Um, make sure to like, uh, share, sub subscribe. See ya.